astronauts don't come my way every single day. Last week, we saw the long-awaited return to Earth of stranded astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, whose eight-day stay in space turned into a nine-month slog, but a fun one, I'm sure. Someone who knows all about spending long periods in orbit is NASA astronaut Christina Cook, who's in Australia for the World Science Festival in Brisbane. She joins us from there now. A very good morning to you, Christina, and welcome to Australia. Thank you, Nate. Great to be with you. Now, I'm so excited to be able to speak with you. You are a legend of space. Can you just please tell the people about all of the records that you hold in orbit? Well, thank you for that welcome. Um, you know, I like to think that the records I hold are a big team sport. Uh, we say human spaceflight is the best team sport ever, so the teams were able to do some really amazing things during my mission. I lived on board the space station and worked there for almost 11 months. And I also had the opportunity to do six spacewalks, and a couple of those were with another uh, astronaut a colleague of mine, Jessica Meir, and they were the first all-female spacewalks. So it was our honor to do that together. Now, spending time in space for that long must have an impact on your body and your, your mental state and also your family and friends back home. What's it been like being in space for extended periods of time? Well, for me, it was absolutely phenomenal. I loved every minute. I would definitely not have been ready to come back after the standard six-month time. I felt like I was just getting started. It's an incredible honor to be able to work hard and do the amazing science that we can only do in microgravity and in the space environment and bring those benefits back to Earth, to work with an amazing team every day to do those things. And of course, the really unique things about being in space, floating and looking down on Earth, those are just a bonus material on top of all that great work. So we loved it. Yeah, so if you were planning for a one week and it ended up being nine months, no problems? <laughs> I would absolutely think I had hit the jackpot. <laughs> it's exactly what I was trying to explain to everyone here. They're not stranded. They are loving it. Hey, you've actually totally got my dream career. You're a physicist first, same as me. You're, uh, you worked for NOAA, the National Oceanographic and uh, Atmospheric Administration. Yep. I'm a meteorologist. And now you're an astronaut. How do I get to be you? <laughs> you know, I like to share that the most important thing is that you do and find things that fulfill you and give your life meaning, things that you're passionate about, but also things that you have to work hard to achieve and that you get to contribute to. And when you look at your life as a series of being able to contribute to awesome things that people are doing together, that to me is what really makes a dream come true. Yeah, look, I'm doing my dream job now, to be honest, being a weather presenter on the telly and getting to speak to astronauts all the time. But hey, you are not done yet. Artemis 2 is on the horizon for you. You. Can you just tell me about how you're feeling about being the first woman to be able to head out and go around the moon? You know, I'm just excited that this mission is happening altogether. I would probably be just as excited if it was my friends that were assigned to the mission and not myself. We're going back to the moon. We're going in a time when we can bring all the benefits, both technology and knowledge that the moon and that environment has to offer, bring them back to Earth, apply it to going even deeper into space, going to Mars one day, and really setting some of those fundamental questions of our time, like are we alone and what does it mean to be human? It's just a great time. Well, why is it important that we keep trying to do this? kind of stuff. You know, for me, it's about learning about not only our solar system, the universe, where we come from, are we alone, but it's about learning about ourselves. When we explore and we go further, we actually gain perspective on what it is to be uniquely human. When we explore for all and by all, we teach ourselves that we can come together to do great things. And I think those are some of the most important lessons that we can give back to humanity right now. I love that. Uh, what are you doing while you're here in Brizzy for the World Science Festival? Are people going to be able to come and see you and hear you speak? I hope everyone comes out. The World Science Festival seems to be an amazing event going on at the museum here. And we're basically studying, celebrating the awe of science, the awe that we can have and experience together when we come together to solve really tough technological problems, when we do things that are difficult together. And I love this theme of this year, this infinite awe of science. It's, it's about what I do, space exploration, but it also to me shows almost the artistic side, the wonder side of of science and everything that discovery really means. The fact that we just love as humans learning new things and taking in the size of the universe and what it means to be us and to be here at this time. You know, I, I just can't wait to be, you know, figuratively on board with you when you're heading around the moon. I want to know, are you going to take anything special? 
You know, I think the most important thing to me is things that bring connection. When I was on board the International Space Station, one of the most special things that I could hold in my hands was a handwritten letter from my husband. And having something when you're that far away that connects you to the people that you know, when you're not on planet Earth, but there's something you're holding in your hands that was and that brings you back to the people you love, that to me was really, really special. And so I'm hoping to bring a letter or something from some of my loved ones that I can read when we're way out there a quarter of a million miles away. Oh, that is so special. Christina, thank you so much for coming on News Breakfast this morning. Enjoy your time in Brisbane and please come and have a chat to us again either side of going to the moon. Thank you for having me.